The battle against air traffic control privatization is heating up and you need to act now. Congress is back in Washington next week and the pressure is on to move the FAA reauthorization bill and give ATC to a private corporation. Well, that's what the airlines and the administration really want. But is there really a problem that can only be fixed by giving all of that equipment that you and I paid for to a private company? But there is nothing broken. In my view, and I think the view of all the aviators I run into on all 50 United States, we have a good system. It works. It works pretty darn well. The delays that the airlines are talking about are kind of about five or six airports in the Northeast that cause all the problems in this country, called 70%. That's where the problems are. We don't have a problem from general aviation's perspective. But the airlines aren't happy. They think they could do a better job. And they've convinced the president and some folks in Congress that their way of running things would be better. Why do the airlines allow a system that you know is bad? Why do they allow the government to put in the wrong system? Well, we're not in control. And I think that that's one of the things that we see as a path to um, having success. If you guys want to get the government out of uh, managing the air traffic control system. On Thursday, the president released this statement honoring the FAA's air traffic controllers, and of course we couldn't agree more with that. But he also called again for ATC privatization, saying that the airline way of managing things would result in fewer flight delays and more direct flights. Mm -hmm. But let's call this what it really is. The airlines want this grab of power and that way of controlling our airspace. It's the only reason why they're asking for this. It's only the airlines that are supporting this change. So please tell your representatives in Congress what you think about ATC privatization now, before they have a chance to vote on it. Now you can find out more on our website, including a special form that will let you email or tweet your representative directly. Please do it today.